good day all this is experiment number 2a to verify the law of combination series of resistance using meter bridge apparatus required meter bridge known resistance box galvanometer jockey one way key unknown resistance wire we need two wire and the battery eliminator theory the resistance r of a given resistance wire or coil is given by r which is equal to 100 minus l by l into r when two resistance r1 and r2 are connected in series then their combined resistance rs that is resistance in series which is equal to r1 plus r2 as per the theory we know that circuit diagram the circuit diagram as same as the meter bridge specific resistance which we have seen the diagram see that same like you have to take the end point a and b this is the primary circuit we have taken as the battery eliminator positive one end to the battery eliminator positive battery eliminator negative to key key to other end now as per that this gap we have to take it as the resistance box and here the unknown resistance we have to take it as in series in between the gaps b we have taken same as from b to the galvanometer and galvanometer to jockey and you have to know one thing the jockey when it touched a to d that length we have taken l and the next that length which we have taken as 100 minus l let us see the connections for the connections it is same as the meter bridge specific resistance you may look at the meter bridge specific resistance video you can get the better idea for the connections we can see that a which is connected the meter bridge a which is connected to the battery positive battery battery negative to that one way key one end of the one way key other end of the one way key which is connected to the b the meter bridge b okay the same way we have to connect the unknown resistance wire which is in this gap and resistance box which is in the gap see this so only change which we are seeing here we are introducing here the one more resistance wire we have to connect this in series before we are going to see the series connection we must know the r1 value and r2 value separately so one by one we will take the readings then at the end we will connect both in series right first for r1 we'll see the connections and the calculation now make all the connections properly then now switch on the battery insert plug key now you can take out some resistance here with the help of resistance box i have chosen 3 ohm so 2 plus 1 we have to remove this two key then that is three resistance we have taken now move the jockey gently along the wire from the left side you should not drag it you have to touch gently now look at the galvanometer till the 
the null deflection you have to move yes now we got the null deflection now note it down the readings yes now look at the reading for 3 ohm resistance we got 49 is the length in the galvanometer you may notice the null deflection you have to now notice and note down the readings in the same way we are going to calculate for the other resistance wire that we can take it as r2 okay make sure that always the deflection of galvanometer which is showing both the directions if you kept in the left side it should it should show left side of the galvanometer when you kept on right side of the meter bridge you will get in the galvanometer right side deflection take out 4 ohm from the resistance box so if you removed 2 plus 2 you will get 4 ohm now okay now see the meter bridge now from the left side to right side we have to move the jockey gently by moving it we must notice the galvanometer reading yes while well, kept on 63.5 i got the null deflection in the galvanometer note down the value for r2 like that we have to repeat two to three times now we have connected resistance r1 and r2 in series and we will now remove four resistance in the resistance box the same way from the left side to the right you have to slide the jockey gently yes you will get now in 41.5 null deflection in the galvanometer for resistance 4 length balancing length is 41.5 you got the null deflection so this is the table for the length and uh, unknown resistance resistance balancing length l balancing length 100 minus l x which is equal to r 100 minus l by l so we'll get the mean resistance in ohm this is the three readings for r1 which we have taken for example for 2 ohm i got 38 as a length 100 minus l we know that 100 minus 38 that is 62 we will calculate x In the same way for r2 and r1 and r2 in series we performed for the three different resistance let us calculate x yes calculation the formula x which is equal to r 100 minus l by l ohm i have taken for one resistance value resistance resistance r r which is equal to 3 ohm l which is equal to 49 cm 100 minus l which is equal to 51 cm so by applying this we got 3.12 like that same way you have to calculate for all the resistance which you have got for r1 only r2 only and r1 and r2 in series in the same way 
I have calculated for a different resistance value of X unknown resistance. You may see in the tabular column for R1 we have calculated and taken the mean resistance 3.1 we got it. For R2 we got 2.39 as a mean resistance value for the R2. R1 and R2 in series we got 5.9 ohm. This is the practical value. We will calculate theoretically resistance in series now. Now for series formula we know that RS which is equal to R1 plus R2 we have taken and RS which is equal to 5.6 ohm we got theoretically and 5.9 experimental value difference 0 0.3 ohm. So within the limits of experimental error the experimental and theoretical values of R, S are same. Hence the law of resistance in series is verified.